Is that a cool cake? Charlie. You're gonna stand here and play with Elon? Hey Elon. Where's Finn? Oh, there goes Finn. Hi Finn. Hey Finn. You gonna make me some ice cream? He was kind of lonely by himself. Say hello. Hi. So we are at the party right now. The kids are all outside doing the pinata, but Ryan said he just wanted to do the pinata. He doesn't want candy. So, Maddie, can you say hi? Do you want some more pizza? I was feeding the kids some pizza, but Ryan's inside. Can you say hi? You don't want to do the pinata? No, you don't want candy? No, that's the first. So, Ryan doesn't want candy, which is a first, which I don't mind, but. We're gonna stay inside, right? We're gonna stay inside. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Olivia. Happy birthday to you. Let's see the money now. So Olivia just opened up her gift. Do you like your gift, Olivia? Yeah. Do you like your little change purse? It says happy birthday on it. Yeah. yeah. You're rich now. How much money do you have? Do you have I a lot of money? Know. You gonna go shopping? Uh-huh. Is Daddy getting you more juice? Um, I forgot to be my answer. Angie, look. She's, she's doing it by herself. Good job. Yay. Um, I have an aquarium. Yeah, I kept jumping out. <laughs> I'm just waiting for her to <laughs> chuck it. <laughs> Good job, Maddie. She's going cross side. <laughs> you playing the guitar? Right. I know I heard the guitar. Madison, are you playing it or is Daddy playing it? This room is a disaster. Oh my god. You can close the gate. Close the gate so you can get locked in. Oh. Madison. Yeah, she has to open it. The cage is there. Can hide you behind him? Mark has it. What is it, guys? Sausage links. Hey guys, so it is currently Monday. I want to try and vlog a little bit today. I'm not sure how much footage I will get, but it is currently Monday. I'm about to leave to go bring Madison some lunch. I really want to go eat lunch with her today. I want to see how they do lunch because I feel like every day she's coming home with her lunch box full of her lunch. I think there's only been maybe two days where she actually ate her lunch. So I want to see if they're actually helping her. So I'm going to go today. I'm going to bring her some lunch. I'm going to stop at Chick-fil-A to pick her up some lunch um this is week three of school so parents can finally start going to eat lunch with their kids the first two weeks they don't want you coming in just because they're trying to get like into the new routine which is understandable so this is the third week so i'm gonna go robert is actually off from work today so he's gonna come with me to go eat lunch with madison and then next week i will try to go eat lunch with ryan because if he knows i'm gonna bring madison lunch today at school he'll be so upset so i'm about to head out i'll try to get as much footage as possible but i don't want to get any other kids in the footage so We'll see, but I'll pick up the camera. Yum, 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 yum. 
I can't record the other way because daddy has a sticker and it says the school name. We really don't want anyone to know where you go to school at, right? Wait. Yeah, man. Slow down, slow down. Hey, no, slow down. <laughs> Wait. Slow down, shoot. Say, I'm hungry, daddy. You got some Chick fil A. Yay. Is it delicious? Yummy, yummy, yummy. Say, all I so want no. is a chicken. We should have got you six pieces. No. You got a toy too. Uh oh. Say hi. I want to go. We're at Madison's lunch, and apparently we're not allowed to bring fast food, so we can't be in the lunchroom. So we're secluded in a room, but it's okay. And it's what delicious. If you, what if you don't want fruits and Chick fil A? They don't want fast food, period. Hey. Say dada. Say daddy. Hey. Say daddy. Daddy. Ready to go back to class? Hey. Ready to go back to class? Say hi. Say daddy. Did daddy pick kiss? Aw, oh, big kiss. Hi, buddy. What? He looks like the police dog. Hi. Oh, he looks scared. Buddy. You have eye boogies. You have eye boogies. Buddy. <laughs> Hi, you want to play? Can I this one? Hi. Aww. He looks so sad. How is that one? Shepherd thoughts. They all look so sad. Hi, buddy. One day I got fire. There's fire ants there? Yes. Are we playing soccer, Ryan? Are you beating daddy, me and you? Uh, we are beating him. What, right okay. now, it's, it's working here. These are our goals, because we have no soccer gear. I should have the And I'm wearing flip-flops. Go, Ryan, go, go, go! <laughs> hey guys, so today is Wednesday. I'm about to take the kids to school. I'm about to leave like in about 10 minutes. But I think I'm gonna vlog a little bit today and then this will be the last vlog for my spend the week with us again. Um, after school, Madison does have therapy today and I might be taking them to the library. They have a martial arts or karate um, little event at the library that my friend's going to. So I told her I would let her know if we are going to be able to make it today or not. Depends on how tired Madison is because I don't wanna exhaust her. She has school all day and then she has an hour of therapy. So we'll see how she is. But I did want to vlog a little bit today. I'm also going to be showing you guys um, a new skincare routine of some products that I have been using. So that'll be inserted in the end of this vlog. So make sure to stick around because it's a really great product that was sent to me and I've been loving it for two months. So it's going to be like a um, two month update as well. I'm going to be showing you guys before and after photos. But I'm going to go ahead and get the kids in the car and get them to school. I'll show you what Madison's wearing today. She is wearing this Carter shirt. Can you say hi? My school name on it. You can't show them that. Hey, can they see? No, you don't want to show anyone? All right, well, she has, um, well, her school tag. Um, little carpool tag on it, and it has her school name. She doesn't want to let it go, but she's wearing a really cute Carter's like spaghetti strap shirt with some jeggings and converse. And then I put her hair to the side. I don't know if it's going to stay like that because she usually comes home a hot mess and playing in the playground, but we will see. And Ryan is wearing a cute outfit as well. Let's show you guys what he's wearing. Ryan, can I see your outfit? What are you wearing? You're wearing a polo shirt with a pony on it and some <clears throat> pink shorts. Are you, are you done with your breakfast? Yes. You ready to go to school? No. <laughs> no? <laughs> Guess what? What? I gave you $2 in your folder so you can get blue ice today. <laughs> so I just got my Ipsy bag in the mail, so I thought I would do a little unbagging for you guys. So I also just got an email from Ipsy today saying that the price was going to go up to $12, I guess because they're going to start including, I guess, more high-end products. So that's why they are increasing the prices and that also we are allowed to choose one of the items that we will receive in our Ipsy bag. So I usually get five. Um, sample size or travel size items in your ipsy bag and now i guess you can pick one so i think i'll just keep it for october because that's the first month i will get the 12 dollar charge and then i guess i can pick one item from the five items i'm gonna get and see how i like it 
And if I don't like it, then I'll probably cancel it and join a different subscription service because I've had Ipsy for years. I've never tried anything else. But the first thing I pulled out is this Rest Recipe Peach Mask. So it comes with two masks in there. I don't know if they're both peach. I'm gonna check to see if they're both peach. Um, I love masks. I'm always using masks, but I'm not a big fan of like the paper masks. I like the ones that you actually apply to your face, like the clay masks and stuff like that but I will still give it a try. This one is a peach one, and then this one is a blueberry one. So I might try one of them out and then give the other one away, I'm not sure. But those are the two masks I got. And then this month's bag is like a really dark green color, and then it, of course, has Ipsy on the little handle. But let's see what's in here. I also like, though, that Ipsy started um, giving out cards. I hate it that they never gave information about the products that you received. I would have to like Google everything and now they actually give a card. So I like that, but this is the little card that it came with. And the first thing I'm gonna pull out is peach, another peach eyeshadow or another peach product. This is an eyeshadow by Estate. I've never heard of that name brand. We're gonna open it up. I'm noticing a lot of peach um, products. So let's see. I'm always receiving eyeshadows. I'm tired of receiving eyeshadows to be honest, but that is the color. It's a really pretty like fall color. It feels really soft and smooth. It's a pretty color. Maybe I'll try to use it for fall, but I just suck at applying my makeup, but that's how it looks right there, swatched. But it's a nice color. So that's the next item I received. I also received, I love Eva NYC. I have a lot of products from them and they're one of my favorite brands. I usually buy it from either Old Navy because they just start selling this and then also I buy it from Ulta, but this is the Satin Dream Leave-In Cream. So I've never tried this one, so I'm really excited to try this out. Sometimes I wear my hair like wet like this, and I like to put stuff like this in my hair. So I'm gonna try that out probably tomorrow. And the last two products I got, what is this? A lip liner by Huda Beauty. I have heard of this brand, but I've never tried it. So it looks like a really nice um, fall color as well. So, oh, that's super, super buttery. That. Lip liner is really smooth. I can't wait to try that out, but that's the color. And let me see if it has the color on here. It's called Trophy Wife. And the last thing I got is this. I think this is an eyeliner. This is by Ico London. Oh no, I think this is a mascara because it's saying it's lash enhancing. So let's see. I'm obsessed with trying new or not. Okay, it is an eyeliner. But again, I suck at applying um, makeup. That's why I never really wear eyeliner. So I don't know if I'll try this. Maybe I'll try this on a day that I'm not leaving anywhere, but it's super black it's right there. So those are all the products I received in my Ipsy bag. If you guys received Ipsy, let me know um, if you like it or if not, what um, beauty subscription you guys get. Cause I really am going to look into trying a new beauty subscription service. But. Anyways, I'll pick up the camera again once I pick up the kids from school. I'm still not sure if I'm gonna take them to the library or not, just because Madison has therapy later on today, and she's probably gonna be super tired between being all day at school and then having an hour of therapy after school, but we will see. They're supposed to have like that Taekwondo or karate, I don't know, some type of event at the library. So I'll just ask Ryan if he wants to go and see what he says. But anyways, I'll see you guys in a little I just picked up Ryan from school and we are now sitting out by Madison School, about to go pick her up right now. But I usually have to park across the street and then walk across to pick her up because if not, I get stuck in carpool lane because um, the special needs kids, they let them out a little bit before and they are let out at a different door from um, all the other kids. So yeah, last time I got stuck in carpool lane for like 20 minutes, like the first week of school. So I learned my lesson and now I park over here. But we're gonna walk across right now. We're not gonna go to the library just because I have to go home and get dinner prepared and um, yeah, so we're not gonna go. Come on, you can't bring Wolfie, he's too big. We gotta go. She can fit through the door. She can fit. I know, but he's too big. Can you give me some hot dogs and bread? You want hot dogs and bread for dinner? Yes, but instead of the hot dogs just being cut up, cut them up after you cook them. And then put them in the bread, and then just fold it up. Oh, if okay. it pops up, then that's, then that's okay. Okay. Well, I guess Ryan wants hot dogs for dinner, but um, anyways, I'm about to cross the street, and then I'm going to grab Madison, and then we're going to go to therapy, and then head back home. Yay, I don't know if I'm going to vlog the rest of the day, because we're not really doing anything, so this might be the end of the vlog. What? I want to go to therapy! Yay! Go get Sissy from school. 
Yes. Yeah. It looks like there's a fire going to pick up his little brother. Oh, yeah, there's other people walking to get their brother or sister from school. Can I say hi to the boy? You want to say hi? Madison's so tired. How was your day at school? Good. And I think the TV's talking Spanish right now. Oh yeah, we're watching Peppa Pig. Well, I put it on for Sissy, but she fell asleep. And she has therapy in an hour, so I'm gonna let her nap for a little bit. So we are obviously now back home. Madison fell asleep in the car, and usually when she falls asleep in the car, as soon as I transfer her to inside, she always wakes up. And she did open her eyes for like one second. I laid her down on the couch and she's knocked out. So I'm kind of glad that we didn't go to the library because she's super tired. I want her to rest a little bit because we had to leave in exactly one hour to go to therapy and she has an hour long therapy session today. So I know she'll be exhausted tonight. She'll sleep really good, but I'm about to get some um, dinner prepared. I'm gonna put some chicken in the crock pot and then I'm gonna make Ryan something. And I'm gonna see if I think the kids will eat dinner before we leave because Madison therapy, we won't be back home until almost seven. Yeah, 5 30 6 30 yes she won't be back till almost 7 and they're by the time 7 30 so once they get back i just want to hurry up and give them a bath so i'm gonna see if they'll eat dinner um a little bit early today and then we'll go to therapy so that is going to end today's or this week's spend the week with us vlog i hope you guys enjoyed another vlog i'm not sure when the next time will be when i vlog probably won't be for a while i think the kids have off um one day in like i don't know beginning of September I think the first week of September or the second week of September maybe once they have off I will vlog that day I'm not sure also at the end of this clip you will see my skincare routine so this is the end of the vlog but then it's going to jump in to my skincare routine where I'm going to talk to you guys about this skincare line that I've been using on my face for two months I'll give you guys like an update and how I like it and then I'll leave all like the information down below for you guys to check out so I just want to say thank you so much for watching today's vlog if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up also subscribe it'll seriously mean the world to me if you join my youtube family and also turn on your notification bell so once I do upload another video you guys will be notified I do have a new schedule so you guys did vote I asked you guys if you would like me to um upload four days a week instead of three so i'm going to keep my monday wednesday friday uploads but i'm also going to be uploading on sundays now so you guys will be getting four videos a week so i hope you guys enjoy the new schedule and i'll see you guys next time all right you guys so don't mind my appearance i wanted you guys to see a before shot of my face with absolutely no makeup on so that is what i am doing so i want to give you guys a close-up my face has seen um worst days but I still do have some breakouts. So as you guys can see, all on my forehead. Also, I'm really bad with like picking, which makes things worse. But I do have one like right here. And then I have a little bit of blemishes right here. As you guys can see in this corner as well. I have some on my chin. And then I think I have some like on the side right here. So that's how my face is looking. This side isn't, I guess, too bad. I don't really have breakouts on this side as of now um but i do have some on my chin like i said my forehead and then on the side right here so that is the before shot and i'm going to use my products for about two months before i give you guys an update so i'll be using all of um their products for two months and then in two months i am going to do an update and show you guys how my skin looks how it feels and just like the before and after shot and show you guys if it has cleared up if it's gotten worse, if it's worked for my skin. And yes, yeah, so I'm super excited to see how it works. I've read really good reviews on this and I'm finally ready to find something that works with my skin. And if this works with my skin, I will repurchase this because I need something that's going to be a long-term skincare routine. And this one seems to be a great one. So that is the before shots of my face. I'll probably also insert some pictures. Hey guys, so it has been exactly two weeks. So I want to do a quick update on how my skin is looking. So remember that blemish I had right here? Well, that is completely gone. And the rest of my face is looking pretty good, pretty clear. I am a little red right here because I got bit by a mosquito and I keep on scratching it. So it's really red. But other than that, my face I think is looking really good. I had a few blemishes when I first started using these products. And as you guys can see, it's pretty much cleared up. So, so far I'm really enjoying using these products on my face. So I do have super sensitive skin and my skin has been holding up pretty well with using these products. It hasn't 
irritating my skin or giving me any type of rashes or hives, which is really great. So that's also a big plus. I was really worried about that since my skin is so sensitive, but so far, so good. So I'm going to continue using these products and my next update will be in two weeks. Hey guys, so it has been officially two months since I've been using these products on my skin. So this is gonna be my last update on how my skin is looking and how I feel about these products. But before I do that, I do wanna show you guys a close-up of my skin. So when I first started this review, I did show you guys on day one, my bare face, my bare skin with absolutely no makeup on. So obviously I'm gonna be doing the same thing for the after. So a really close-up getting close up and personal. This is how my face is currently looking like. I do have a little blemish right there, but other than that, I feel like my face is looking pretty clear. I'm loving how my skin is looking. I do feel like it has worked well with my skin. Like I've mentioned before, I have super sensitive skin. I break out very easily. I'm already 32, but unfortunately I still have a lot of breakouts. So I'm always looking for something that is going to work for my skin and help clear it up. So I do feel like these products did help clear up my skin. So I'm gonna show you guys all the products and how much I used in the two months that I was using it. So for the hydration do, that is how much I used in two months. And then for this cleansing nectar, this is, let me turn it around. That's how much I used in two months. And then this is the like overnight elixir. And I don't know if you guys, okay, maybe you guys can tell or, or not. I don't think you guys can be able to tell, but it's down here. That's how much I used in two months. And then for the nourishing cream, let me see if I can get it open with one hand. And for the nourishing cream, that is how much I used from that. So all these products I feel like have worked well on my skin. Um, the one thing I will say is that if you have oily skin, I'm not sure how well this would work with your skin because I do feel like um, if you put too much, your skin will feel, I guess, like kind of oily and kind of greasy. So they also recommend that you use it twice a day. The first week and a half that I was using it, I was using it twice a day, but then I went down to just once a day. So I was only using it at night. That's probably why I have so much left because I was not using it twice a day. I was only using it once a day at nighttime. And then also um, you use a very, very small amount of everything, especially this cream. If you use too much, your face is gonna look really, really greasy and oily. So you use the most tiniest, smallest amount. Now these are more on the pricier side, I would say, of beauty products or skincare items. So if you guys are interested in trying them out, but you don't want to spend money on like the entire package, I believe you can buy them individually. So what I would buy individually, what I would recommend or what I would um, repurchase once I run out is the cleansing nectar. I would definitely repurchase this once I run out. And then also the clear skin elixir, I would definitely repurchase. They're probably the two things that I feel like I enjoy the most and has helped my skin out the most. Now for this clear skin elixir, it says to put it all over your face and sleep with it. It's supposed to be kind of like a nighttime mask. Now I'm gonna insert a picture. I did do it as a mask a few times, but I feel like to sleep with it over at night, I just feel like it's it's just a little too much. So um, like I said, I'm gonna insert a picture of when I did it all over my face as an all over mask. So what I would do with this is if I were to use it overnight, I would use it more as a like spot treatment. So if I had any type of blemishes, I will put a little bit of this on that spot and then I would sleep with it overnight and then rinse it off in the morning. So that is what I did with this one. And then also the spray, which is the hydration do. This leaves your face feeling so refreshed. I would use this a lot in the morning. So before I did my makeup, I would spray my face with this a little bit and I feel like it works really well with my makeup. So those are all the products that I use. My Final results on this is a big thumbs up. I feel like it did clear up my skin. I'm gonna be putting a before and after shot on how my skin looked from the beginning to now. Like I said, I don't know if it's just me, but I do feel like it has made a difference in my skin. So I definitely will be repurchasing the cleansing nectar and also the spot treatment. I feel like that's what made the biggest difference on my skin. So if you guys are like me and you suffer from breakouts and you are interested in finding a new skincare routine, I am gonna leave all their information down below in my description box so you guys can go ahead and check them out, read up on them, do your research. I always do my research on anything that I'm going to put on my skin. So everything will be down in the description box. And just a quick disclaimer, I am not sponsored by this company at all. So 
not getting paid to give you guys my review on all of these products nor really get any type of commission so if you guys decide to purchase anything from their website i'm not going to get any money out of it i just wanted to really quickly let you guys know because anytime i do get any type of commission i'm always honest guys so that is going to end today's video i hope you enjoyed today's vlog slash skincare routine if you did please remember to give my video a thumbs up also subscribe it'll seriously mean the world to me for you guys to join my youtube family and also turn on your notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my future videos that i do upload thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye